What's going on YouTube? Taylor Prentice is back here with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the week five drop list for Supreme's fall winter 2022 season, which is set to drop on Thursday, September 29th. So if you guys are new to the channel, I make streetwear content two to three times a week. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure to hit that like and subscribe and make sure to turn on that post notifications bell. I post a lot of time sensitive content. So if you guys never want to miss a drop, make sure to have that turned on. But with that being said, let's just go ahead and get right on into this week. So to be honest, I was not a huge fan of this week. Um, the collaborations weren't really doing it for me, but there are a couple pieces from Just Supreme that I like this week. So stay tuned to the end for that. But starting off with the collaborations, first we've got pieces from the Gremlins collaboration. So Gremlins is a movie that came out in the 90s, I believe, maybe even the 80s. But uh, it was a huge like pop culture movie. I definitely remember watching it as a kid. But to be honest, I don't really have any like significant ties to that movie, or it doesn't have like a special place in my heart or anything. So these pieces aren't really going to be it for me. But I don't think they're terrible pieces either. So the first piece we have here is a hoodie with just a screen capture from the movie on it, which uh, I think it looks kind of cool. I think uh, the capture that they got is a solid one. But same time, it's just kind of lazy. You see Supreme do this with a lot of movies that they collaborate with, but. I don't know. Uh, I wish they would kind of like find more creative ways to incorporate screen captures from the movies when they do these cities. But I thought these hockey jerseys were pretty cool. I like that they use different characters from the movie in the different colorways. I thought that was a really nice touch. And I think the colorways are solid. I think the like American one with the nicer looking gremlin works well when you have like the more evil looking gremlin with the green and black. I thought that was just like a good little touch. So I thought they did good with those pieces, but not really something I'm going to go out of my way to buy. And there is a t-shirt that I will show later in this video. Uh, looking at the Iraq pieces next. So Iraq is a graffiti group out of New York. I'm actually not super familiar with their work, but uh, I wasn't really feeling this collaboration. As you guys can see here, we've got some items that are just kind of all over print. We've got sweatpants, a uh, sweatshirt that zips up, and then we've got some gloves and like a ball of clava. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't know. I'm just not really feeling these pieces. I typically am not really a huge fan of all over print stuff. And yeah, these are I don't know maybe if you're like a big graffiti artist or super into graffiti you'll appreciate these pieces but yeah not for me and then we've got this uh, snap bag so I do like this logo they took the supreme word and kind of made it into the Knicks logo and then they've got the Iraq graffiti on top of it so we'll see that uh, artwork more later on in this uh, video so I actually like it more on other pieces than I do on those hats but I think those hats are pretty cool too and then we've got the zip up flannel here so I think zip up flannels are always going to be solid and just perfect for the fall and winter I think these colorways are nice and I think if I were to pick one I would probably be going with that brown one but I do think uh, all these colorways work pretty solid for the fall winter season next week we have what is my favorite piece from this week and that's the woven hooded jacket so as you guys can see uh, all this artwork is just woven in there it's like a jacquard type of look but I think it's super cool um, I think it's just very pleasing and I think all the colorways are solid I think maybe this brown one is my favorite but uh, this gray one that they've shown here is super solid too and then i don't think this darker blue and black one is bad either so yeah like i said definitely one of my favorite pieces if not my favorite piece from this week and then down below here we have the washed capital short sleeve top so i don't think there's anything going on in the back and then on the left chest it just does say supreme but that is embroidered so a little bit nicer of a tee gonna be a little bit more expensive than their standard tees it is considered a top not a t-shirt so yeah gonna be a little more expensive for what it is but i think those are pretty solid pieces and i do like that brown and yellow next we have the ramen pedibon mechanics jacket so i think it's really funny that this is considered a mechanics jacket definitely not what i would call it uh, other than the like little tag here on the left chest i don't really think i get any mechanics vibes from it i've never seen a puffer jacket on a mechanic so i don't know if i'm the only one let me know what you guys think about that down below and then on the back we've just had like a little bird with a little text box around it saying f all y'all so yeah, I don't know. I really didn't like the artwork on this one, and uh, I like the silhouette of the jacket, and I like the mechanics tag, actually, but the artwork on the back really just uh, turned me off in this piece. And then at the bottom, we have the embossed sweater, so it's hard to tell what's going on here. Really, I'll pull up some better images, but I think these are pretty cool. Very subtle, obviously, but I really like that orange one. I think the black and gray ones are going to be solid, too, but yeah, I thought these pieces were pretty good. I usually like like embossed stuff anyway, so yeah, I thought they did a good job with those. And then we've got some camo grid camp caps, and then some camo grid crushers. Uh, 
I I kind of like the look of these to be honest I think the pink ones look really cool especially the camp cap which is funny because I don't really like camp caps but uh, I do like that like grid type of look which I think works better over the camo I think if the camo wasn't there it wouldn't work as well but I do think the pink one is by far the most solid I think the uh, camo one like the actual camo colored one and then the uh, black camo one are not as cool but I think they're all right and then we've got the Catwoman beanie I think this one's really solid I really like that artwork and then below that we've got the like classic type of supreme logo with the 94 under it very reminiscent of like a baseball jersey or something like that so yeah i think those ones are pretty cool too definitely reminiscent of like the early 2000s and then we've got some pins uh these are the gaunt's jesus ones and then some no love ones i actually forget who the artist was for those ones but i don't really care about pins to be honest and then we got some skateboards from the gremlin stuff so i think these are like much cooler than the uh t-shirts and the sweatshirts and even the hockey jerseys i think these just work a lot better definitely if you're a gremlins fan something you can store in the background and it'll look pretty cool but with that being said let's get into the t-shirts from this week so starting off here we have the don't f around t with the supreme money symbol on the back i think this one's really corny i feel like wearing a shirt that says don't f around is just corny in general i don't know then we've got a shirt with a girl with like her skirt kind of lifted up you can see her booty uh, i feel like this is kind of an awkward one looks like something you would see at like hot topic back in high school here we've got another shirt from the iraq collaboration just a guy wearing jeans kind of stood over some graffiti has the iraq branding and then has the supreme branding too and then on the back it has that supreme graffiti logo another miss for me i just don't like the artwork on the front i really like that graffiti artwork on the back though again we've got that artwork that was on the flat bill from earlier like i said i do like this i really like that supreme like nix logo i think that one is one of their coolest logos that i've seen them do and then i think the graffiti on top of that is a nice little touch too and then we've got the gremlin tees so uh, just says supreme on the left chest then it's got a picture of one of the gremlin girls on the back of the t-shirt nothing too crazy there just a squared off image a rectangle image and then we've got the supreme like flipped logo uh i don't i don't know this one's all right it doesn't really bother me but at the same time it's not really something that i would wear so kind of indifferent on this one and then we've got this like kind of abstract team uh the team supreme t i'm actually not sure what this one is called i couldn't really find any images of it on their website but uh, it's just got like four little pieces of artwork on it so it does say team supreme on the back and then it says supreme on the right side it's got this little portrait of this guy and it's got a little set of lips and teeth down here so i don't know uh not feeling this one either this one's pretty clean i think uh, it just says supreme new york i actually can't really tell what it says here i haven't been able to find any great images of this shirt so if anyone knows what it says down below here let me know but i think this is one of the cleaner shirts for this week uh, i feel like they were doing a lot this week a lot of pieces were kind of just aesthetically not pleasing and while this one isn't super crazy or like or doesn't have like any crazy design aspects i think this one is clean and uh just a nice piece for this week in comparison to the rest of the week so yeah uh that's pretty much it for this week definitely a little bit of a rough week but i don't know uh i'm not super flush with cash so maybe this is what i needed just a week that i can completely pass on but yeah really the only things i can see myself buying are that woven jacket and then the flannel maybe but uh yeah a uh, pretty weak week to be honest let me know what you guys think about it down below and if you watch to this point i really appreciate it like i said if you guys could hit that like and subscribe it would really help me out in the future trying to get to that monetization level but anyways thank you guys so much for watching we will see you next time have a good one